Hey y'all, uh, this week we're making some bootleg beignet donuts. Uh, this is some true pregnancy craving, quarantine day foolishness. Uh, but before we get into it, why don't you like, comment, and subscribe. Support is always free and appreciated. Cook with us. This is Whipping Up Some Magic with Justin Kai. Um, so to make these, this is very simple. Three things. You just need some powdered sugar, some crescent rolls, and some vegetable oil. Or any kind of oil, really. I just use veggie oil a lot. Um, so you want to make sure you get a pot. Um, I have a pretty shallow pot here and just get that oil going, get it hot. And then you want to focus on your crescent roll. So get you a plate and go ahead and open that uh, roll. Go ahead and untwist it. I kind of just untwist it with my hands. My wrist game is crazy. Aha. Uh -huh. So <laughs> now, nah, but uh, you get that out and just place that on a plate. And then you just get another plate um, and you fold the pieces in there. This can make about eight pieces. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Basically, you just take one of the triangles um, and on the narrowest part, you just fold that inward and then fold it again in itself. And then the two flaps on the side, you just fold those into the middle like that. Really simple. Um, I'll show you again. So again, just the narrowest end, you fold into itself twice and then take those two other end pieces and just kind of fold them inside to make kind of this weird shape. I don't know what kind of shape this is, but again, for the people in the back, narrow side, whoop whoop, whoop de doop, and there you go. And like I said, each crescent roll thing, you can make about eight uh, crescent rolls, so you can make about eight donuts. Pretty simple. Um, you want to make sure you get you a plate, get you uh, some paper towel laid down for when those are ready. And then once that oil is hot, just go ahead and place those in. I do two batches of four each. And they cook rather quickly, so you want to make sure you're just, you stay there and flip them over. Um, it, it takes literally maybe a few, few minutes. I had to kind of experiment with it. I made these a few times, actually. Um, I like mine cooked all the way through the middle, just a little soft. Um, so it was about maybe four or five minutes of just frying those in there. And then you go ahead and take those out, put them on the paper towel that you already had ready, and then go immediately and put the powdered sugar on there. Um, so while they're warm, it can just kind of melt into it, and it's so good. There's no right or wrong in how much powdered sugar you put on, the more the merrier. And if you got some clumps in your powdered sugar, just go ahead and kind of, you know, sprinkle it back on there my hands are clean and it's my food so you know mind your business uh, and then go ahead with the second batch and that's all you need to do this is so good look you deserve some donuts it's quarantine these people driving you crazy you at the house you hungry go put those kids to bed tell your man to go play his game and make you some donuts it's all right eat look at that look at that mm -hmm. live your life sis <laughs> so thank you guys for watching uh, make sure you stay tuned for all new recipes love you